attacks from the outside. So it's like these cyber gorillas existing in the underbrush and of the canopied forest under the, the light of the moon, right? So they can't be easily spotted or attacked or thwarted by nefarious actors, be it state-based or otherwise. So that's a really important key feature for helping develop out these network states as we move into the future. And I think that's why a lot of us have a tendency to focus on the, the cypherpunk features of these, these network states. When you say cypherpunk uh, features, what is that word, um, cypherpunk? Um, what is cypher and uh, why does it need to be punk? All about words and definitions here and um, sorry for those details. No, no, this is really important because you're right, a lot of people may not automatically just know what that what that means. So I luckily I happen to know the sort of the full history of the term. So the word cypherpunk comes from the word cyberpunk. It's a play on the word cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is a lot of people are probably familiar is a is a genre in sci-fi li literary genre originally spearheaded by William Gibson. William Gibson was an author who wrote a really popular book called Neuromancer. And Neuro Neuromancer is a really popular cyberpunk novel where a, a, a big portion of these novels, uh, their driving themes were how, how do we deal with growing the growing rate of technology as a species? And how do we prevent the rise of a, a dystopia? Right, which is governments taking over everything and corporations taking over and controlling everything. So that, that's where the word comes from. Now, how it got it turned into the word cypherpunk. So in, in the early 90s, there were a group of, of renegade coders who uh, called themselves crypto anarchists early on, and they, got, they met at various places in Silicon Valley in California, and sort of the ringleader was Timothy May, who wrote the Crypto Anarchist Manifesto. Well, one of their their meetings at one point in time, they, one of their friends, her name was Jude Milhon. She jokingly said that you guys are like cy cyberpunks, but with code. So what you are is you're cypherpunks. So Jude, Jude Milhon actually twisted the language around and referred to them as, as cypherpunks. Mm. And, and, the, and they, she uses the term cypher as a reference to strong encryption mm -hmm. or cy cy cyphertext. Cyphertext is just, coded language it's like language with a hidden me as cypher it's, it has a hidden meaning another term for this is when, when you try to hide the meaning of words within a, some kind of delivery medium it's called steganography steganography means it hidden within the within the word so so cypher text is naturally endemically hidden text so it's all about privacy and anonymity of our messaging of our communication so that that's that's the full history of where that that language actually comes, where cypherpunk comes from. So if you're a cypherpunk, and the term punk means you're 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 sort of you're renegade, right? You're mm -hmm. you're out against the system. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're throwing Molotov cocktails into grandmother's window, and you're wearing le leotards and you have a mohawk. <laughs> you, you have a pink mohawk. That's, it, it's just a reference to this. It's cultural. It's a reference to this culture of being sort of re rebellious and rambunctious at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how safe is this? Um, like, if I do publish something, uh, then what do, what are the consequences to have my real name here? Yeah, so this is something that I've thought about a lot for myself because I, I'm pretty, pretty much doxxed as a public figure. I publish that under my name, but I'm purposely public, right? I don't, I don't, here's the thing. The, obviously, the government's going to know that I'm out there talking about having a freer society of exiting their system. And it, it, I even use terms like abolishing the establishment and the system as it, as it stands. So if you do publish something like this under your own, and I use this as an example for other people do realize that they're going to know about this. It could have ramifications for your work because if you're doing sort of mainstream work, I'm not luckily, but if you're doing mainstream work and you want to publish material like this, I, I would question whether you you're able to get a job in the traditional because mm -hmm. everyone can just Google you and look you up, right? People can Google my name right now and see that. I, they Not only can they see my work, but they can also see that I was arrested if they dig far enough. But I'm all public about this. This is what I do for a living. I'm passionate about actually creating change yeah. and creating a new society. And what that means is it means you have to, you have to take risks, 
right? You have to risk it. So I, I'm, I'm okay with putting myself out there, but I'm also, I want to do, there's people who don't, those people want to be private and anonymous, especially a lot of developers. So I, that's why I support those ideas, but I'm also public. Do you think network states can support um, us? Yes, yes. You, you and you mean us as as cyberpunks, as renegades, as people wanting to push back, the, just the a different. Culture you and I people. being yes, I, on this podcast together, you know, yeah, us, you and I. Yeah, absolutely. I I think really networks. Here's and this is another interesting conversation thread that we could trace through and follow if we wanted to, but network states can can help anybody potentially. And I I don't mean to say that to arbitrarily generalize what a network state is, but so the thing about network states is that it's a competing governance model on the open market, meaning anybody can create a network state that supports their ideologies, their agenda. So it's credibly neutral, it's politically neutral in that sense that someone can start a network state with their agenda in mind and people can join it. Mm. Right. So you and I can start a network state with our ideas in 